Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is part 20 of the design patterns tutorial. In this session, we will discuss what is decorator design pattern, implementation guidelines of decorator design pattern, and we'll take a look at a simple example to implement this pattern. Please refer to the previous parts of the tutorial before proceeding. As per the Gang of Four definition, decorator pattern states that we need to attach additional responsibilities to an object dynamically. Decorator provides a flexible alternative to subclassing for extending the functionality. This pattern falls under the category of structural design pattern and is also known as wrapper pattern, which means decorator design pattern solves the problem of adding additional functionality to already existing object without altering its existing structure. A point to note that this pattern aligns with solid design principles. Also, this pattern creates a decorator class which wraps the original class and adds new behaviors or operations to an object during runtime. Let's now take a look at the implementation guidelines of this design pattern. We need to choose this pattern when we need to add responsibilities to individual objects dynamically and transparently, that is, without affecting other objects. For example, changing legacy code can be a tough thing to achieve. In those circumstances, it is easier to modify existing code with decorators. We need to cho choose this pattern when the extension by subclassing is impractical, which means sometimes a large number of independent extensions are available and are possible and would result in an enormous subclassing which are not desirable to support every combination. We need to choose this design pattern when a class definition may be hidden or otherwise unavailable for subclassing. For example, using this pattern, we have a flexibility to change classes despite they are being sealed. I'm sure that you understand that inheriting subclasses is not possible. In those situations, decorator design pattern comes handy so that we can modify the existing sealed class structure using a decorator. Let's now take a look at the representation diagram of decorator design pattern. The client interacts with the component which defines the interface for objects that can have responsibilities added to them dynamically. The concrete implementer defines an object to which additional responsibilities can be attached. The decorator maintains a reference to the component object and defines an interface that conforms to components interface. A concrete decorator adds responsibilities to the component. Now you might be wondering in what situations we need to use decorator instead of inheritance and other design patterns. Imagine in some situations where we want to add responsibilities to individual objects. When I mean responsibilities, not to an entire class, but to some properties of a class. One way to achieve that is to add responsibilities with inheritance, but sometimes it's inflexible to apply the same with respect to sealed classes, which doesn't allow you to implement the inheritance. In those scenarios, the most flexible approach is to enclose that component in another object that adds the properties. The enclosing of object is called a decorator. I hope this statement might clear some air around what is decorator design pattern. Now, decorator design pattern implementation can be seen as part of our day-to-day -day experiences. Whenever we visit an ice cream shop, we would be presented with multiple options for purchasing an ice cream. For example, if you are buying a normal ice cream, which costs us 100 bucks, and then if you want to top that with a chocolate, then it would cost 50 bucks more than the cost of the ice cream. That means an extra addition of properties are costing us 50 more bucks. Now let's say we want a chocolate ice cream with some extra nuts and want the ice cream in a bowl, then we would spend 100 more bucks extra. If you observe carefully, the decorator is helping us in achieving and extending the base ice cream which comes with a cost. Hence, we are able to decorate an ice cream with extra chocolate property in level one. And further, we are decorating it with nuts and serving in a bowl as a serving method. I hope now you are able to correlate this example with the representation diagram 
which we discussed earlier. Let's now see this in action with a simple implementation. Let's now switch to the Visual Studio Console application program and see how we can implement this with a simple example. To save some time, I have already created a console application and created an interface called iCar. This interface has a method to retrieve the price of the car. The interface is the component of the application and for representation purpose, I have created a folder called component and moved this interface under this folder. Again, to reiterate, it's not mandatory to follow this folder structure as we are just doing this for representational purpose. Let's say everyone is now fascinated to buy a car and we get different options when we choose a model from a car manufacturer. All those models have predefined pricing based on cost, tax and other factors. Let's say we have Suzuki and Hyundai cars with a predefined pricing for this financial year. These cars Hyundai and Suzuki fall under the concrete component as they are implementing the iCar component. Now let's say the dealer want to provide a discounted sales on these cars. Based on the open closed principle, we need to ensure that the classes are open for extension and closed for modification. For more details on the open closed principle, please refer to our session on solid design principles. Now let's say that we need to enhance the classes which are sealed. So let's change this class to sealed. And on top of the sealed classes, we need to apply the discount. To solve this situation, decorator pattern comes handy by extending the classes to apply the required features in terms of properties or methods. To handle that case, let's create a decorator class. Let's right click on this decorator folder, add new class and name this class as vehicle or let's say car decorator. To make the things faster, let me copy the code from my notepad. Notice that we have changed this class to abstract class and we are decorating the car interface by enclosing the iCar component in another object to add the desired methods or properties. We are achieving that by enclosing the iCar in the constructor of this object. Also, we are implementing the properties and methods of the iCar and in this case, we are retaining the base values of make and get price. Now, in order to achieve additional discount price, we need to add an abstract method called get discounted price in order to make this abstract class extendable to implement the abstract method. Let's quickly do that. Let's create public abstract double get discounted price and This get discounted price will be implemented in the inherited classes. After adding this method, our decorated class is ready to be extended to implement the offer price. I hope now the implementation is clear for you where we have enclosed the component to implement the desired functionality without violating the open closure principle. Let's now create a concrete implementer for this decorator and implement the get discounted price. Let's create a new class under this concrete decorator. Right click, add new item and let's name this as offer price. And let's inherit the card decorator here. Let's resolve these issues. Let's resolve this issue as well. Show potential fixes and implement the abstract method get discounted price. Now let's assume that the dealer is going to provide a 20% discount. Hence the overall call car value will be 80% of the base price. Let's say return 0.8 into base dot get price. Let's create a constructor public offer price and assign iCar car 
to the base of car decorator. That's it. We are done with the concrete decorator implementation. Let's now quickly switch to the main program and use these classes. Let's now switch to the main program and see the decorator in action. Notice that I have already created an object called Suzuki car and I have enclosed the object in the car decorator by creating an instance of offer price which computes the discounted price for the car. After that, we are printing the details of the car type original price and the discounted price for the car and these details are getting generated without affecting the main class details. Let's now run this application and see the output. Notice that we are able to print the expected output. With this we have successfully implemented the decorator design pattern. In the next session we will discuss facade design pattern. Till then thank you for listening and have a great day.